Have you ever woken up in the morning, looked at some of our mountaintops, and seen some of that ice up on top of the trees? It's usually rime ice, and it's caused by the supercooled water droplets and clouds moving over those mountains and freezing upon contact with items up there like tree limbs, uh, sticks, leaves, things like that. Wally Smith went up into the mountains this afternoon and took some of these cool pictures for us, literally. Uh, this is the rime ice that formed on some of the sticks and twigs up there on top of some of the mountains across Wise County. A uh, cool shot there. What it looks like if you were driving. I've been up Rome Mountain several times uh, after a big snowstorm and have seen sites just like this. That's one of the best spots to look at it in our area. And of course, we see some on Holston Mountain at times too, up on the 421 drive through there. All right, let's talk about temperatures tonight and through the evening hours. If you're heading out this evening, we do expect temperatures in the 30s to 40s. As we go into the overnight, we look for temperatures to fall down into the 20s, 23 to 27 degrees. The partly cloudy skies as you wake up tomorrow, a little bit more cloud cover tomorrow afternoon, but generally we'll warm up into the 40s with 40 to 47 degrees across the region for our high temperatures on your Wednesday. High pressure is in control right now of our weather, and with the high pressure to the south, we're seeing the winds out of the west and northwest kind of bringing in some cooler air to our region, and that's been one of the reasons we stuck around in the 30s and low 40s a day for high temperatures. Future track through Tuesday here, uh, overnight, not a whole lot going on, a little bit of cloud cover from time to time. As we go into Wednesday afternoon, though, look how the high cloud cover starts to build back in, and uh, look out towards the west, towards portions of western Kentucky and uh, portions of Missouri as we go into Thursday morning. That's where the rain showers are going to start to develop and then head east. You notice here by around 1 o'clock, they're knocking on the doorsteps of the Tri-Cities and southwest Virginia. Uh, as we go into the afternoon, rain becoming a little more persistent, and I think we'll see some showers through the afternoon and the evening commute on Thursday. So keep that in mind as you plan out your Thursday and Thursday evening. Here's our temperatures town by town tomorrow. 46 in Bristol, 47 in Kingsport and Johnson City, around 42 for Boone and 44 in Mountain City with partly sunny skies across the region. Smith County, Marion coming in at 42 degrees, 44 for Lebanon, Abingdon, and 41 for North and wise tomorrow afternoon for our highs. All right, let's talk about our next weather maker. This could be a pretty big system uh, that moves in as we go into the weekend. But ahead of that, some showers, as we talked about, moving in on Thursday and lingering into part of Friday. But look out west here. We get a little bit of a break, but by Saturday morning, rain starting to overspread the region once again. And certainly by Saturday evening and into the overnight, we're tracking a line of showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms out towards the west. That's going to be our next weather maker. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to see that rain out ahead of it, warm flow out of the south to southwest. Then behind it, wind shift to more of a northwesterly direction. That helps usher in some cool air. And uh, as we go into Sunday afternoon and maybe even late Sunday morning, we could see a brief changeover to snow across the region as that cooler air starts to filter in. It's really going to depend on how much moisture is left after the front comes through as to how much snow we get. Right now, not looking like a big event. Doesn't look like anything too serious, uh, but the mountains especially could pick up a light snow accumulation this weekend as we go into Sunday. The big story for everyone though on Sunday is going to be how cold it is. Sunday into Monday. Temperatures will be in the 30s Sunday morning in the 20s Sunday afternoon and Sunday night into Monday dropping down into the teens, guys. All right, Ricky, thank you so much.